Hey everybody, it's Bobo the Vulture, and this is another episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. I did a little bit of off-screening to... Um, actually, it was very little off-screening, because I had a save from right before I was looking at the bomb. Um, so basically, I just went around, talked to a couple of people that I already talked to, and talked to Mr. Burke. Which uh, a couple of people um, uh, have pointed out to me uh, uh, sort of resembles Dave, a younger Dave Batista. Um, who, if I remember right, is from the D.C. area. Uh, I actually knew a guy who told me that uh, his he went to high school up here somewhere in like Arlington or thereabouts, and that Batista was a security guard there for a while. Who knows if it was actually the real Dave Deacon Animal Batista guy, but either way. Um, basically, I think it's been a couple days since I did the prior video and the one bit of uh, info that I, you know, one bit of uh, commentary that I got back. I think Mysterious JG noted this, that what I got there was probably the worst ending that you could get for that particular, like, little quest, because Lucas Sims dies for no reason. Um, basically, you just get some gear, which is kind of nice for this point in the game, but, yeah. And then little Harlan Sims is, uh, I guess, supposed to be the law in the town from there on out. That doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right to put that burden on a poor boy. He's just a little guy. Good to see you're staying out of trouble. Oh, totally, man. I met a man. And his name Burke. He said he'd pay me to rig the bomb to explode. But first of all, let me say, I'm not sure I can disarm them. I thought you knew what you were doing. If it's just nerves, maybe some kins will help. But if you can't handle it, don't go fiddling with it. That's cool. Um, I met a man named Burke. He said what? Oh, I never did like the look of him. Mm-mm. Um, what if he has someone else to explode the bomb? He should do something. Good point. Come with me. You're about to get an education in wasteland justice. All right. All right. Now, bearing in mind, this isn't the exact same save that I had before, so it is possible that I haven't done all the exact same things. Lucas Sims, you're going this way? Got a dash to keep up. Pushing megaton settlers out of the way left and right. For weapons, let's actually use our 10 millimeter pistol. And let's go into the saloon and see what's happening here. Hey there, glad you're back. You there, Burke. Explain your business in Megaton. I'm sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff. I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Um, hi, Andy. Someone is sure kind of busy here. I don't sure think I talked to him. The situation, personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Like I just wanders in now, here. Step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Why do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the hard way? Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. You need... No. Need something? Gonna wait. All right, you just pulled a gun. I'm shooting you in the head repeatedly now. I accept. You are not. Hey, I can knock you. it off! No, it's a long time I can knock. <laughs> Look out! That is so hard to get out. All right. So he still managed to kill Sims.
Better him than me. So, uh... It ain't none of my business. Uh -oh. What's the matter? Never seen a ghoul before? No, I'm perfectly cool. Okay, so, um... Apparently what I actually need to do here is, uh... Any unsaved progress will be lost. You there, Burke. Explain your business in Megaton. And while he's explaining his business in Megaton, I'm going to get a baseball bat set. Because that will do more damage. Um, let's see, my apparel. Do I have any better? I have leather armor. Which has a significantly better armor value. Although this increases my melee weapon value. The Vault 1 at 1 jumpsuit. Ah, but the Tunnel Snake outfit, that gives me the most benefit. I'm Indeed. Sorry. Sheriff, what are you hollering about? You know damn well what I'm talking about. The bomb. You're trying to blow it up. Have you lost your goddamn mind? Sheriff, I'm afraid there's been a <laughs> misunderstanding. Someone has surely been spreading rumors. I'll be sure to address the situation. Personally. I'm placing you under arrest, Burke. At least until I figure out what the hell's going on around here. And I'm afraid I won't be able to oblige your request, Sheriff. I have pressing matters to attend to. Now, step aside. This isn't open to discussion. You're coming with me. Um, Lucas Why Sims. do you knuckle-draggers always insist on doing things the you, you really way? should be, uh... Very well, Sheriff. Lead the way. Hey there, Andy. Uh, problem? Hello. Can I help I just you? Just this. Uh, I can assure you. I can assure you. I know. I know. Damn! Damn it's a fire help. somewhere else. Help! Right, it's help. 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 Any moment now, you'll be dead. Are you excited to see what that's like? I just had this suit tailored. Hey, I, I just had this suit friend. tailored. I just had. Oh yeah. Ah, time for oh. the guy, lad. Oh. Oh, that's it. Yeah. That's it. Ha! Yeah. Well, clearly this uh, particular uh, way to get through this was not the proper one. Uh, it. Maybe that the thing that I have to do is uh, not involve Lucas Sims because apparently he'll just die immediately if I tell him about what happened. Or you know, I could just go about my business, leave this situation open until after I've defused the bomb. That's actually probably the wisest thing to do. That is probably wisest and best, is to focus my attention on the good and the beautiful. I only took the time to think about it. Anyways, there's a poster. You don't need an atomizer to be a hero. That's good to know. Candy stripers, um, puppeteers, inner. Blood donors? I, I, I don't know. Sounds not as clear as some of the other ones I've seen. There's some cams and stuff. Oh, hey, there you are, Doc. I was wondering. I, you're just standing creepily in the uh, doorway. I'm Doc Church, and I run this clinic. That's good. Now, before you go asking me for help, you'd better know the rules. Rule one, don't bother me. If you do bother me, you better be damn near dead. I'm busy enough taking care of people I actually like. Follow my rule, I'll keep you patched up. I'll keep getting paid, and we'll get along just fine. I see. Um. What do you know about the people here? A doctor doesn't talk about his patients. At least not to strangers, he doesn't. Trust me, I'm a doctor myself. Nice try. 
Maybe if you actually had some medical training, we could talk about it. Okay. Well, that's fair. I don't actually have any medical training. I'm just kind of smart. Uh, what do you do, Andy? I'm the town doc. If it's cut, I sew it up. If it's infected, I cut it off. And then sew it up. You tell me about Megaton. I have to say, of all the rat-infested hell holes that I've lived in, this one is the least hellish. That's nice. I gotta go right now. Yeah, bye. Okay. So, there's a patient. And I can't just sleep here. That's all very unfortunate. Formed from the mass of our wretched and filthy bodies. Nope, some settlers. Shall be mother and I could open the door. I've not been in the brass lantern yet. Hey, Leo. Well, goddamn. This is an actual new, nice right? member of the Stall family. Name's Leo Stall. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. So, who's in charge around here? Um, what do you do for fun around here? Um, what can you tell me about uh, Megaton? What's to tell? We're alive, so we've got nothing to complain about, right? And hell, I've got a restaurant, so I have it better than most. That's a very positive person. Uh, who's in charge around here? Well, Moriarty thinks he is, but Lucas Sims is the law around here, and everyone knows it. Well, there you go. Uh, what do you do for fun? <laughs> well, there's this and that. I keep myself busy. But really, that's none of your business, is it? I'm just trying to be polite and interested in what you... I'm trying to be interested in your life, Leo. Hey, I'm not much of a mudslinger. I don't like to spread stuff around, you know what I mean? Everybody has their secrets. Let's keep them that way. That's all I needed to No know. problem, buddy. Alright, uh, da -da 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 -da, and I gotta go. See you soon. Yeah. Alright. That's a random megaton settler. Wandering in. Oh, there's a whole other floor up here. I never even uh, noticed. I might have noticed it in earlier playthroughs of the game and just not realized it. Uh, there are some beds. Can't use them. At least if I do, it's immoral. Or something. There's another bed. It's a metal box that has stuff in it. But it's immoral to look into because this isn't my place. As the brass lantern terminal. Get any ideas. But I'm hidden. No, no, I'm not. Alright. <laughs> Never mind. How you doing, Megaton Settler? Now well, life seems grand here. For all parties involved. Especially when they just run into each other continuously. Iguana bits. Enjoy your iguana bits, Megaton Settler. Shall know an end to pain, and shall know Atom in his glory. I um... Mr. Burke's house. It's hard to get in there. Adam, I give unto you these feeble bones. I present to your will this frail body. Okay, and the supply shack is all the way up there. I think that is the one big part of town we haven't been to so far. So let's go up and check out uh, the supply land. Crater side supply. Hey. Nathan. Ah, look at this. New blood. Tell me, boy, you ever hear of the Enclave? The last remnant of the good old USA they are. That's now, it. I don't know you from Adam, but I got you pegged for a patriot. And any patriot worth his salt is going to toss his gun in for the Enclave. Any day now, they're going to roll up here, and then this nightmare will be over for good. But listen to me, Ramble. I'm Nathan. What can I do for you? Uh, do you have any famous hot dogs? Um, who are the Enclave? They're the American government. The Eagle. People come a-weather. The more perfect union. Is that so? 
Um, and why do you support them? Why? Why? Look around you. This is the good old USA. Sure, she looks a little bit different these days, but you're still on American soil. Radiated American soil. And even if you were born in some underground vault, you were born under the United States, which makes you an American. An under-American. your duty and my duty to support our country and our president, no matter what. Understand? Um... They really do expect you to have fully formed opinions having just emerged from the vault. Um, it's the duty of a citizen to question his government. Why, that's unthinkable! Where in the Constitution does it say that we're supposed to run around questioning the government? Huh? Well, they did give us guns and say, if we fuck up, feel free to take us out. I really don't know. I skipped American government class back in the vault. I think people fought a war with tyrants. Wanted unquestioning support. Well, when you put it that way, way. You're just trying to confuse me with your fancy vault education and your textbooks. I'll have none of it. Did you have something else you wanted to ask? Or were you done with your crazy talk? Um... You've never seen the Enclave. How can you know anything about them? They're on the radio. They have been for years. President Eden talks about everything they're doing. That's they cool. got flying robots all around, watching everything, so they know what to do when they finally swoop in and clean this place up. You'll see. People think I'm just a crazy old man. Things will be different when the Enclave gets here. I'll be a king on Earth! God bless the Enclave. Sure enough. Hey, man. What's going on? No, not much. Just, just hanging. Later, Gator. Yeah. You must be a mercenary. Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't get paid enough for that. Crazy experiments? Human experiments! I'm just here to make sure nothing goes wrong with you or her. Okay. You must be Moira. Hey, I hear you're that stray from the vault. Oh, I haven't seen one of you for years. Good to meet you. I'm Moira Brown. I run Craterside Supply. But what I really do is mostly tinkering and research. Say, I'm working on a book about the wasteland. It'd be great to have the foreword by a vault dweller. Help me out, would you? Well, why would that be great? Uh, where'd you get the vault suit back there? I'm pretty sure I remember a girl coming into town with that about 10, 12 years ago. Mm. She didn't know a thing about the wastes, and I knew she'd get herself hurt without some sort of protection. So I offered to armor her vault suit. Never saw her again. Probably died out there, poor thing. In a way, she gave me the idea to write this book. It's yours, if you help. I got plenty to say about life in the vault. Great! Just tell me what it's like to live underground all your life, or or to come outside for the first time, or whatever strikes your fancy. Um, it was paradise down there. No fears, no worries, no fighting. Until dead left. Um, this outside place is amazing. In the main room, I can't even see the ceiling. I was sent as an ambassador from the Utopitha, from the Utopitha of Vault 101. Bow before my glory. How do you people live out here? I haven't found a food dispenser anywhere. It was cramped, dark, and the food sucked. Good riddance. Now well, it's true. I have not found a food dispenser. Well, it takes a little more work than that to get food. And good water's even harder. <laughs> but you'll figure that out soon enough. Here, take the armored suit. It won't help feed you, but it should keep you from being food for anything else. Or anyone else. Oh, a lot of cannibals, That'll huh? That'll be good for the book. I, in, in fact, want to help me with the research? I can pay you, and it'll be fun. Uh, What's this work here, right? Well, it's a dangerous place out there in the wastes, right? Be 
people could really use a compilation of good advice, like a wasteland survival guide. Mm -hmm. For that, I need an assistant to test my theories. I wouldn't want anyone to get hurt because of a mistake. Nobody's ever happy when that happens. No, then they just yell a lot at me with mean, mean words. Um... Tell me more about the pay. Oh, well, uh, caps, chems, meds, and maybe even a few unique inventions, if you do a good job. I'm sure I've got something that'll catch your eye. Mm. With a little ingenuity, you can turn a pile of junk into a mountain of caps. And there's no shortage of junk. So, will you help out? Um, okay, I guess I'll help with this survival guy. All right then. Now I think the first chapter will have to be about surviving day-to-day -day dangers. Day-to-day -day dangers? Things like where it is and isn't safe to find food, the dangers of radiation, and how to avoid and even profit from dangerous landmines. Ooh, sounds like fun, doesn't it? Which do you want to do first? Um... Uh, getting food doesn't sound so bad. What are you looking for? Well, no, no, no. Let's, uh, yeah, yeah, no, no, let's, let's see. There well, we go, the food. food and medicine. Everyone needs them once in a while, right? So they need a good place to find them. There's an old Super Duper Mart not far from here. I need to know if a place like that still has any food or medicine left in it. Hmm. <sighs> What's the pay? Hopefully, you'll be finding food and medicine. But I could sweeten the deal by paying more food when you get back, regardless of the results. Payment While in you're food. Away, I can at least search through my junk and see if there's anything that'll go with old food to make it more appetizing. Hmm. Um, okay, I'll check the Super Duper Mart. Oh, great! Food is most important, but see if you can get medicine, too. And if there's nothing to find, then just come back in one piece, okay? Alright, have you thought about disarming the bomb? Oh, I couldn't do that. It'd be a real blow to those nice folks in the church. Besides, it's not like that bomb ever hurt anyone. Live and let live, right? <laughs> um... Do you have any specialty items? Do I ever. I've got the schematics for something called a rocket launcher. I sell all the components too, so you can make the weapon yourself. That's Don't worry point. about ammo. This baby shoots all the junk you might find out there in the wasteland. Ashtrays, teddy bears, you name it. In fact, if you ever need to make any custom weapons, feel free to use my workbench here in the shop. All you need is the schematics and parts. Oh, that's nice. Um, ba -dum, ba -dum. Can you repair my Unless it's a steaming pile of slag, I'd say yes. Mm-hmm. Would cost one cap to... Yeah, see. It's not really worth it for these. Cannot repair past 54%. She's actually not that good at repairing. So, uh... Yeah, we're done. Mm -hmm. I gotta go. Have fun out there, okay? Oh, sure thing, lady. Well, that does give us a little bit of a quest to go on, at the very least. Um, although, th I think it might be good, because, uh, as I recall, the Super Duper Mart has some bad dudes in it. It might be good to get some experience, uh... Wait a minute. That's true, there's somebody in town supposed to be... What is it? Tamper with that and we're going to have a problem. So what's it going to be? What's it going to be now, boy? I gotta go. Come back. Hey there. Behold, he is coming with the somebody had... I can't remember who it was, but I feel like there's somebody in this town that I'm supposed to talk to about the, uh... Okay, not the armory, whatever. Okay, okay, okay. 
And not the saloon either. I'm going to be wandering around here randomly in circles until I find a person who's working on... Oh, well, there's the common house. I don't know that I raided the common house this go around. So... That's just a stain. Well, that's lovely. Also, for a common house, uh, I sure don't seem to be allowed to sleep anywhere without losing karma. But let's open this footlocker and take this Merc Cruiser outfit. That's nice. Um, all right. Let us know. Nope. Make a settler. I detected. She's just lying down. She's not actually sleeping. Either that or there's somebody else looking around up there. Or maybe somebody else looking around up there. Uh, sugar bomb, snack cakes, insta mash, clipboards. That's less exciting, but still a thing. The fridge. Let's take it all. And there's a bunch of ooh, noodles, cram, squirrel stew, whiskey, empty whiskey bottle, shot glass. Oh, I did not mean to take that shot glass. I'll take these bobby pins and exit. And let me go into the inventory here real quick. Um, miscellaneous. Okay, so right mouse button will just drop random stuff. That's good to know. Any food over here or booze? That's not vodka. No. Okay. Let's be on our way. Okay, there we go. There's another footlocker. Ooh, it's got some ammo. Whammo! Okay, let's close the shack door. Okay, let's open the shack door. Hey, why are you messing with the shack door? I'm just, you know, using it to perfect my shack foo. Gosh, didn't know it would be such a big deal. Pot. A lot of items here. Alright, let's get out. Let's get back out into the wide open of Megaton. See, there's another place where... can't remember who it is I need to talk to in this town. There's someone I need to talk to in this town about, uh... Is it you? Manya. Well, hey there, stranger. I'm Manya. The old coot wandering around here is my husband, Nathan. Oh, I see. If there's anything we can help you with, ask me. Don't ask Nathan. He'll just blabber at you about the damned enclave all day. Okay. Uh, what's the word about town? There's only one thing that concerns me in this town these days. What my damn fool husband is doing. Hmm. He wanders around here all day and all night preaching about the Enclave and trying to get parts for his guns. I'm not sure who's the bigger fool, him or me. After all, I married him. That's my wife. All right, uh, tell me about the town's history. I can tell you just about anything you want to know, honey. Megaton's history ain't no secret. Yeah. So, uh, how did the town start? Well, originally, it started as a hole in the ground. My pappy talked about how his father and the original settlers just hid in this crater. Hey, pappy. It was enough to keep them safe from the dust storms. When things cooled down and people started wandering into the wastes, some stayed behind. <laughs> the wanderers started coming back here to trade their stuff. By the time my pappy was born, the town was a full-on trading center. Pappy got rich on the caravan routes and eventually convinced the others to build the walls to hold off the raiders. So, it's just a collection of traders in the beginning. Not at first. It was a collection of people trying to get into the vault, P 
people worshipping the bomb and a few other refugees. Then the traders came. Now the caravans take care of most of the trading, but before they were set up, it was all Megaton. I worked on the caravans with my father for a while. That's how I met that worthless bag of liver spots I call a husband. Um... So anyone can live here? No. Space is limited these days. You see all of these people wandering around here? They live up in the common house and aren't really citizens. Most people around here keep one eye open around strangers, but me, I can spot a raider spy at a hundred meters. I'm not worried about it at all. Well, but if having meetings and pretending to vote on things makes the others feel safer, so be it. I see. So why'd they build the walls? Well, the raiders for one. Once the town got big enough, they'd wait until the traders and their guards were away. They'd come in and clean us out. Clean now, out. super mutants. Uh oh They were a whole other breed of problem. They'd kill us if they had to, but mostly they tried to drag people away, alive. So, That's eventually, my creepy. father did something about it. Him and a few others organized the traders and the citizens and built the walls. So we're pretty safe now. Still, I wish those Brotherhood of Steel fellers hadn't hit on such hard times. They really help keep the wolves at bay. I see. Well, that's enough of the history lesson. If you say so, honey. Uh, what's this place made of? Long ago, before the war, they used to be machines. They were like buses. But they flew through the sky, taking people anywhere they wanted to go. You didn't have to walk. You just went to the air station, bought a ticket, and took to the skies. Anywhere in the world, you just up and flew there. Yes. When the war happened, the machines started dropping from the sky. Everyone around here thinks that the bomb made the crater, but it didn't. The crater provided good cover from the dust storms. And when my daddy and the rest of the town decided to build the walls, they used what they had. Wait. Yeah. I, there are not really that many flying machines out there made out of corrugated steel. Good eye. You're right, honey. There are. There was an air station a couple of miles from here. It had been stripped of everything except the planes. My daddy got a bunch of people together to go out there, break apart the machines, and drag back what we could use. It took him a couple of months. You can't even tell where the air station was anymore. The wasteland just took it back. So, why didn't they move the bomb? Some of us wanted to, but the Church of Adam was just getting its start then. We needed their help to build the walls and clear the wreckage. If we'd have tried to move the bomb, they would have refused to help. Besides, a lot of people just wanted to leave it alone. It didn't seem to be hurting anything, and who knows what would happen if we messed with it. So you guys have never had anybody with an explosive skill of above 25. Why build the walls out of some old flying machine? It's a hell of a lot easier than trying to find enough parts to build walls and houses from nothing. The scrap was there, why not use it? Besides, it's sturdy. It keeps the raiders and the dust storms out. Not all of us had the luck to be born in a vault, you know. Oh, snap. I have another question about that. Sure thing, hon. Um, uh, how'd you get here? I was born here, actually. Just like my pappy. Oh, for a while I helped him scavenge and then later on his caravan. But traipsing around the wasteland has worked for young people. After I met Nathan, I just wanted to stop moving around so much. We've been here ever since... Of course, I can't say that it's been good for Nathan's sanity. Uh, where did everyone else come from? Oh, they come from all over. All over. You name it. The Stahl family grew up out east somewhere. Lucy's from some little settlement to the north. Billy doesn't really talk about where he's from. Doc Church used to live in Rivet City. Jericho, well... Let's just say that men can change. I thought Jericho was oh. from uh, Edmonton or someplace. Mm, who's in charge around here? Well, technically, no one. But you can't put two people in a room together without one of them trying to govern the other. But it depends on who you ask. 
Lucas Sims appointed himself the sheriff. He throws anyone out who causes too much trouble. Mm -hmm. But Colin Moriarty runs just about everything else. Not much happens here that he doesn't know about or plan. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, tell me about Moriarty. That man is the scum of the earth. Well, he keeps the drunks around here soaking in liquor. And that poor Nova, that girl deserves better. She deserves and a high class. Started on how he treats Gob. Just because the boy looks dead doesn't mean that he should be treated like that. That man has his fingers in everything around here. Just watch what you say about him. It'll always get back. Yeah, I plan on going and telling him what you just said right now. That man tries to bring law to this place. Lost cause, if you ask me. But I respect his trying. He does seem to keep people in line, though. Well, Other than that weird cowboy thing of his, I don't have much to complain about. Yeah, I think I get the picture. All right, then. Anything else you wanted to know? Um... I don't want to talk about Megatron Well, anymore. you come on back any time you want to hear more. Okay, I gotta go. Send Nathan home if you see him. That's fair, lady. So is this their house? Don't even think of breaking into that. What? No, I wasn't going to do it. Honest. I'll tell you what, folks. Uh, I'm going to stop it right there for the moment. Um, yeah, I feel like there's somebody in this town that I'm missing who's supposed to tell us about the water being busted, but maybe that'll happen later. Um, there's stuff that I can do now. I could go, uh, check out the Super Duper Mart, or I could just head straight over to Rivet City. That was one of the first places people told me about. It's kind of a hike from here, though. Uh, either way, folks, uh, I'll, I'll head out and strike out in the world next time. Uh, until then, this is Boba the Vulture. This is... Let's play Fallout 3. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.